In this video, we're going to be setting up the ability to have a navi drawer in the navigation bar, adding a more responsive and more friendly layout there. We're also going to be implementing the SEO functionality for the category page. So let's get started on it and grab your favorite coding beverage and let's get started coding. All right, let's take a look at how we can implement SEO for the category because at the end of the day, we have SEO set up and we can go ahead and essentially copy this bit here because at the end of the day as well in this case we are using um that's actually called the whole function sorry we are after all using uh an image as well so we can put that through which is good all right so we have this um image here i'm, I'm gonna go ahead so we're going to go ahead and add this here. We're going to do the same thing for here as well. Just to simplify this here. And then let's go ahead to our app.blade.php page. And in here, let's just say else if. And if it's category, just show and otherwise else. We're just going to have the title here. Back into our with the php you can see in here we have this category to show which is perfect and then in here we just need to have the category so what that should now enable us to do is to have the same seo functionality for the category page however we still need to add this into the category resource so let's get in here and And let's make this call it. Uh, let's leave this for now with the name. Let's have a tab component. Let's call this content. Let's make sure we just go ahead and add all of these in here and I'm going to go ahead and remove the import here because I just want to have the whole Actually, let's just steal this from the article resource page here. And let's go ahead and close this tab. Let's add another. Now we have SEO make. And let's leave this as for now. Only other thing I want to do is have this as columns one. There we go. So let's go ahead and make sure we have this as columns one. Then let's go ahead in here now and and let's go back in. Inspect element. Let's head in here. I mean, you see, we have also the description, we have an image here, and so on. So, this basically helps us generate all the relevant SEO really neatly. 
So with that sorted, we're now able to essentially pass through the SEO, and we. So let's go ahead and look at how we can, in this case, add a sidebar drop down here to the navbar and how we can improve this because I think we could make the navbar look a bit better than this. All right, so in here we have this example of a drop down, neither of those. So let's go ahead and take this from here. So PHP Storm Editor, let's head into our navbar. So we have this down here. And in this case, we will just have an or and or. And let's take a look at how this would look. To go back into the AC UI. So let's go ahead and get the picture as well. So the full drop down will be from here. There we go. And there we go. So now we have this here. So let's go ahead and actually make this properly work. So we already have access to, in this case, auth, user, profile, photo URL. All text, let's go ahead and say auth, user, name, and let's go ahead and say profile, picture. And in here, let's go ahead and say Profile, we don't need to say new here, we don't need that batch really. So let's just go ahead and remove that class there. In case if you're an admin, we want to access that. We want to have a logout button here as well. So let's take a look at how we could do this. So in here, To get to your profile, let's go ahead and say wire, navigate, hif, in this case, route, yeah, profile, the show. I'm going to add this onto a new line. And let's go back into the database. Admin. So before we add in the admin functionality with roles and that, let's just go ahead and say wire navigate hf route. Or in this case, actually not route. We will just have to say slash admin. And I think wire navigate may not work ideally here. And then for logout, we can go ahead and add this onto a new line. And in here we need a form, which posts to logout. And then we just need to have CSI as well, as well in here. Just like this. So let's go ahead and take it up. Hey, okay, let's go ahead and make sure that we just say There we go. No, and let's check if log out works. It does. Perfect. So if we just go ahead, we can log in easily. 
let's go back to the actual home page and we can just easily swap between here and as well change the profile picture now let's go ahead and create an app app pro right here so this is um gonna be looking a bit differently we want to have a drawer where it opens on the side file links here on larger screens so let's go ahead and start working on that now all right let's go ahead and take a look at how we can improve this now so i'm gonna actually go ahead and let's re-ramp a lot of this nav bar now so i'm gonna go ahead up here from where we have the app name, because we don't need that in the start now, to here, I'm going to get rid of that. The very end is fine, but we're going to have now for the navbar staff. In here, we're going to have um, another diff and an area label mobile menu button this is tap index zero roll button and class is going to be lg hidden it's going to be a button it's going to be a button ghost and it's going to be a button circle so let's go ahead and add this onto a few new lines so this is a bit more readable So for now, you won't be able to see that, but if we go ahead, put this on the side, you'll be able to see we have this nice icon here. Perfect. And then below that, if here, we just want in here an anchor tag, which is just going to be route home. In this case, we're going to have config app but name in this case it's really important to note that if you use e and me app if you did it like this that would actually cause catching issues so i would always recommend using config and not e and me uh, that's you should always go from a configuration file you should never go directly from the environment file um, and then we want to have a navbar center, basically. We want this to be hidden. And last, we want this to be flex. All right, let's go in back here and to have a UL. And we're going to have menu. Menu horizontal. PX1. For now, an anchor tag to the home page. And let's go back into here as well and make sure that we have the ability to have maybe one other page here and we could just call it articles. And let's just have a newspaper here. And the other thing we want to have in here as well is making sure that this hidden large flags currently however is showing like this. So let's make sure that we are displaying this correctly. All right, so in here, we want to make sure that we can essentially enable this drawer when we have. 
also let's go ahead and add a class here of padding of two for now. Just to add a bit of spacing. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close some of these ones here. So let's go ahead and open nav butterfly and the nav bar life bar component. And I'm gonna start with passing through the view in here. At the very bottom of this view, we want to have an X Mary draw, which is going to be connected to the Y model, which we're going to call responsive menu. And then we're going to have a class of with 11 out of 12, large width 1 out of And then in here, we're just gonna have a menu item in here as well. So, so the menu items we want to enable in here is X Mary menu class, in this case P zero M zero, and we just want to go ahead and essentially have a home one here. Of course, one as well. So at the moment, this won't work because we need to enable this to show. So we're going to have a public boolean. Our default set to false. So if we head into our navbar. In here, we want to have a function. Called tuple draw. And this is just going to be this responsive menu equals to the opposite of that. So all we need to do now is inside our SVG, we need to have a wire click to it all. So that's the one we added all the way up here. And let's make sure this is returning a boolean. And we don't actually want to see if that works now. It does, perfect. So if we did, if this was a larger screen, although we don't have a large screen, but just to say this is how it would look like. This will only really work on responsive sciences, but you can see this works neatly now. You can just easily click here and it has this nice slide animation. You can also enable us to have a quite neat navigation bar with responsive functionality. If we go ahead and look in, we are also able to again see the admin panel profile and log out. And we could go ahead and add more features, but for now I'm going to leave it like this for the navigation bar.